Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at one of my favorite ways of organizing clips inside of DaVinci Resolve, and that is using groups. With groups, you're able to associate clips based on any of your own criteria, whether it be a similar color scheme or whether all the clips belong to the same scene. In this example, I've got an abridged version of a short film that was edited, consisting of three scenes. I can select the clips by clicking on the first one, holding shift and clicking on the last shot right-clicking and saying add into a new group. I can leave it as group 1, I could call it scene 1, or if you are organizing clips by a color scheme then you can give it a more specific name. And immediately the group is reflected by the icon in the bottom right corner which is the link. Anytime I select a clip on the timeline that is in a group with another clip, their icons will show up simultaneously. I'm going to select the clips in the second scene and add that to a new group and I'm calling it scene 2. So let me just select the last one, scene 3, excellent. If I have a group selected and I click on an unaffiliated clip, I have the option to add the clip to my currently selected group. I could also click on any clip and remove it from the group. So now my final scene has only three shots and this one is unaffiliated. I also have the ability to control the groups from inside of the contextual menu. So in groups, I have the list of my groups and I'm able to assign any of the selected clips to a specific group. I could load the group to reveal it in the timeline and I can rename and delete groups. Perhaps even more importantly, once you start using groups, you reveal an additional control that you have inside of the node editor. So if you click on the drop down menu next to the word clip, you'll reveal that whereas before we had just clip and timeline, we're now able to grade our nodes in group pre-clip and group post-clip modes. This is actually a really powerful workflow. You can engage group pre-clip to apply some basic color correction controls. So at this stage, you might want to introduce a bit of contrast to try to undo some of the grain that we have in our footage. I might get rid of any blatant white balancing issues by pulling away from these yellows. And when I go back, the rest of the group would have felt the effects of these changes to the grade. Now, that doesn't mean that all of the clips are immediately going to match one another. That's not what grouping does. After this, I would still be anticipated to go into clip mode and start to tweak these individually. So if I have some clips that are darker than others, then I really should clean them up and either start using stills in the gallery for image wiping or use the clips in the timeline itself as a reference to start cleaning up the grades and getting a better match. And finally, when you're done matching all the clips up to one another, you can switch to group post clip and start applying your creative grade. And because all of the clips are bound together in this group, they're all going to experience the same changes. So this is the workflow I always end up recommending to people because it's really clean, it's really easy to go back and forth and make changes. You can continue grabbing stills and reusing those. You can continue using versions. So you've got this really wide range of diverse tools to help you quickly and efficiently grade your project. Just like with the individual clip mode, group pre-clip and group post-clip also has its own undo stack. So if you decide that you want to make some changes to the pre-clip, then you can start pressing command Z and you're not going to be undoing anything that you did inside of clip or post-clip. If you start saving clips inside of your gallery, you'll have an individual clip based on each one of these modes. So inside of post clip, if I say grab still, I have the same numbering convention as the regular stills, but I also have the word post to indicate that this grade contains information for this stage of the grading process. One last thing, you have an additional option called collapse group grades. What this means is that you might want to take a clip out of the group that it's in. But if you try to do that, it will immediately lose all the grades that were applied to it inside of group pre-clip and group post-clip. So what you can do instead is select collapse group grades. And what happens is it gets taken out of the group, but all the grades that had been applied to it will come across as individual nodes in the node editor. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.